Jasmine Allen here with a COVID-19 update from the governor's press conference for today, Monday, July 13th. Governor Cuomo said as of Sunday, the state has a total of 792 hospitalizations, which is the lowest we've had since March 18th. Also on Sunday, there were 10 more COVID-19 related deaths with a three day average of around seven deaths per day. In the Mohawk Valley, the transmission rate is 0.8%. On Sunday, New York State tested 51,687 residents for the virus and roughly 1% came back positive. Cuomo says that the state's numbers prove the reopening strategy has worked. We did anticipate a spike in the number of new positive cases after the phase reopening began, but we've actually seen substantially lower numbers. Cuomo also discussed reopening schools and suggested that it's similar to reopening the economy. The state has created a formula, that's what they're calling it, that states must follow in order to reopen in the fall. This formula states that schools can reopen if the region is in phase four and the daily infection rate remains 5% or lower over a 14-day average since the unpause was lifted. The decision will be made during the first week of August and Cuomo says that schools will close if the regional infection rate is greater than 9% using a seven-day average after August 1st. Schools that do reopen must adhere to the state's guidelines. Overall, the state's numbers are good, but Cuomo says we now have two major concerns. The first being lack of compliance. He says that local governments must hold residents responsible for complying with the executive orders. The second is the risk of travelers from states with high infection rates. So people coming into New York and bringing the virus with them. Cuomo says this would be a huge risk to the state and could undo all of our progress. Right now, 39 states have an increase in positive COVID-19 cases. Today, Cuomo announced an emergency health order mandate. So all out of all out of state travelers from designated states with high infection rates must provide local authorities with contact information upon entering New York State. Every airport will be enforcing this order and violators could face a $2,000 fine and a court appearance requiring them to fill out the necessary paperwork. It's been 111 days since the state's first positive case of coronavirus. Cuomo says we must stay diligent and hold ourselves accountable and do our part to keep the virus under control. More COVID-19 updates will be in the Monday evening daily briefing right here on our website, cnyhomepage.com.